Well, welcome back to another quick tip. Now, you may recognize this model in, in uh, on the screen here. We uh, did a video uh, a few weeks ago where we did some skin retouch, and I showed you a very easy and very powerful tip for sort of cleaning up skin. We're going to take that a step further now, uh, and we're going to add a very natural-looking tan to our model. And there's several ways we can do this, but this is one of my uh, favorite ways of uh, creating a tan, and it's, I think, one of the most natural ways of doing it. Okay, so we're now in Photoshop CS3, um, but I think pretty much any version of Photoshop should be able to uh, create this effect. Um, now, what we need to do, we're going to add a gradient map to add our tan to the image. Now, we do that by simply going to the uh, gradient tool, and then up to the top here, you can click on the little box, and we need to have um, linear gradient uh, selected, which is the first one. Click on the uh, edit gradients. And uh, here's my gradient here, already set up, but if you haven't got one already, which you probably won't have, we need to create a new one. So to do that, what we're going to do, um, we just go and select one of the gradients, let's just do the uh, black and white one. And we're going to use this as the basis of our new gradient. Um, we can rename this one and call it uh, Tanning Grad or something like that. Okay, so we need to create uh, t two kind of tones, uh, color tones of ta for tanning. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can perhaps find an image uh, of someone who's tanned already and maybe sample those colors, but uh, or use the settings. And these aren't exact settings. I mean, they vary um, depending on the model, etc. And you can obviously adjust them. But we need a starting point. So, so let's click on the black stop down here. And then we're going to highlight or click on the color box down here. This is where we change the color. So we need to change, make two colors. Now the darker color, uh, I'm going to give you the settings for this that I use. Um, in the RGB boxes here, in the top box, we're going to type 93, whoops, followed by 52, followed by 24. Okay, that gives us a nice dark uh, brown color. Click OK. We're then going to go to the white stop at this end. Again, click on the color box. And again, the RGB, we're going to go and put in 206, followed by 178, followed by 156. And that's giving us quite a nice light brown color. So just click OK like so and uh, as I said make sure you rename this one so let's call it uh, tanning grad like so and then click OK and now that should be at the bottom of your uh, presets there so click OK So now that's the uh, hard bit done, you'll be glad to know, and the rest is plain sailing and uh, quite fun. So to apply the gradient map, what we're going to do is go to the adjustment layers down here and select, yeah, you guessed it, gradient map. And uh, this brings up the gradient map box. And now what we need to do is to click inside the gradients here and make sure that we select the gradient we've just created, which was Tanningrad. Click OK and then click OK again. Now this is obviously in a blend mode of normal. We can change this and we'll be using soft light for the final effect. But before we do that, we may want to go back, just leave it on normal for now. And we want to perhaps just uh, brush away some of this uh, gradient, um, maybe on her hat uh, and scarf, uh, and maybe on her, around her eyes, uh, etc. So that's what we're going to do first of all. We're going to get a brush. Make sure it's quite a soft brush, like so. And then uh, we're going to be painting with black. Remember, uh, white reveals, black conceals. So by painting black on the mask here, we're going to take away the effect. Right, so we have our brush, soft brush, and we're going to paint with black. On our gradient map. So, what we need to decide is what we're going to paint away. Well, I think um, for starters, the hat's going to have to uh, come back to normal. So, I'm just going to very quickly paint over this, like so. Make sure we get all the areas best we can. So, we'll leave it at that for now. It might not be ideal, but you get the idea 
of what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, we just need to basically go over any areas that we don't want to apply the effect to. Now our scarf, again, I probably don't want to be affected. I'm going to leave our hair for now because sometimes the hair can benefit from a bit of the uh, tan as well. And we can always come back in and edit these. So we're going to go around like that. Let's just uh, periodically go to soft light and have a quick look. Here's before, here's after. So you can see that colour really adding to her skin tones. It's also adding to the scarf at the moment on this side. Uh, this side I've painted it away, so it's quite subtle. And you can, you might find actually, once you get started, you can leave it in soft light and just paint away because it's easy to preview what you may want or not to uh, to delete from the layer mask. But it does help to go back to normal mode to clean up bits you've missed, like so. So you get the idea, so we need to go around this. I'm going to carry on and come back in a second, just clean this up a bit better, and we'll see how far we get. Uh, so I'm going to leave the hair for now, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, so this is how far I've got at the moment. I'm going to alt-click or option-click on the mask, so you can see what we've painted away, and obviously we can come in here and just go over any bits that we've missed, like there. And you can see I've painted away the eye area, and because uh, we don't want sort of brown yellowy eye sockets and she's got quite nice blue eyes so we don't want to uh, desaturate those but I have left the lips for now um, I think um, it, it uh, adds to them to be a little bit warm um, and the hair again we've left that in if we do we can, we can take it out a little bit here um, but what I'm going to do I'm just going to undo that I'm going to come in um, there may be situations where you you want some of that warmth but not the full strength and the way we can do that is rather than painting with black we can pick out a mid grey and uh, and paint with that and that will sort of take away some of that warmth but not fully so if you alter option click on the mask you can see we're now painting with like a mid grey like so so that gives us kind of a, an in-between effect uh, and you might decide on the lips you uh, want to do that as well uh, with an image so that that's the one way we can accomplish that um, if you haven't got a pressure sensitive pen or tablet right so I've tidied this up if you alter option click again on the mask you can see uh, where I've painted and we've got these uh, gradients uh, the black uh, obviously hiding the effect uh, around the eyes and then the hat I've also painted with the grey to allow some of that effect to come through and I've also done the nostrils as well because the nostril cavities were getting a bit too hot but too red for my liking so we can come in like that also you might find sometimes if you go to filter blur Gaussian blur it sometimes is good to just apply a bit of blurring to the mask uh, and it will hide any bad brush marks that you might have left behind so there's our finished mask, here's before and here's with our tanning applied and I think you will agree that's made quite a big difference but I think it's quite natural again you can obviously play around the opacity if it's still a bit too strong for you the other thing you could do if you wish is that the effect's not as strong as you want you obviously can go in and edit the uh, edit the gradient and maybe change some of the strengths here or um, command or control J um, to duplicate the gradient and then we can just uh, change the blend mode maybe to something like uh, darken or multiply and then drop down the opacity and that will add a little bit more of the effect uh, maybe to the darker areas uh, but have a play around with the blend modes because it's always worth uh, having a little uh, uh, little experiment with those uh, to vary the effect so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick tip and I hope you'll catch me on the next one cheers for watching bye